Hello and welcome to World Box. Now this is a game where you are literally God, and you can create things and destroy things. I'm going to be a responsible God, and I'm going to start a war. It's just going to be a tiny little world war, you know, between four different, you know, you know, I guess, like, you know, people. Um, they're just going to fight to the death. You know, no, I'm, I'm a good God, you know, but uh, this isn't the world that I'm going to use. I actually uh, created this world, and uh, I'm going to have four different nations fight to the death because I am uh, I'm very nice actually um, so I'm going to turn on animal spawn natural disasters other disasters and uh, I'm gonna put down the dwarves because they like mining I'm gonna put them down here in like this because they like the mountains or I guess 11 and then look, up here, let's put the elves in here because they like the trees, I guess. And because the dwarves, and because the elves really don't like the orcs, we'll put the orcs here. How do they? How is there a boat? How is there a boat there? Anyway, well, there isn't a boat there anymore. Don't know how that was there, but you know, not there anymore. Okay. Um. Then we'll put down the humans over here because they're the last ones left. There's supposed to be 11 in each. That's. Okay, let's put another orc there. And then another elf right there. So, uh, this is kind of boring right now, so let's uh, turn up speed to 5 times speed and see what happens. So, they all have kings now. The humans are expanding, kind of. Not really. The dwarves are still around their little crystal biome here. It kind of looks like frozen ice, so that's why I use that biome there. Um, they're kind of slowly expanding up by this river um, and down into this like valley between the two big mountain ranges. Uh, up north, the orcs are expanding pretty far. Actually, they got a couple of houses. Uh, they've almost reached this mountain range here. And the elves over here are really expanding around this river area. So they're all kind of growing around either coastline or the river because the orcs have expanded to this river. They also have this lake there for water and fish I guess. Um, there's also this lemon area and this guy. This guy, I gave him some I gave him a few things. He's pretty cool. You know. Um he's my favorite. If if, if he dies, you know what? If he dies, death bomb, death nuke, and electrified. If he dies uh if he dies then uh yeah, if he dies, then, uh, that whole island is gonna get blown up by his death nuke. Um, anyway. So, uh, the, what, what, what which one has more people? Uh, fo Foad Children. Foad Children, what a horrible name. Foad Children. Really? Is that the name you're going for? It sounds like a cult. You guys cultists. Come on, choose a better name. You know what, the Elf Forest Cultists? You have the cultists up here. What do they name these people? Oh, what are they? There, diz diz diz. Are you bumblebees? No, you're not. They got an army. Looks like they're all starting to grow armies. What do the humans call themselves? The Great Sea. I don't see anything great about you. You only have 24 people. You're not great. You're not great at all. And what did the uh, what did the dwarves name themselves? Rocky. Rocky as in well, they're the only one that's actually re accurate because they live inside the mountains. It looks like they've got themselves a, a little fishing dock right there. It looks like the first village has the first colony has been founded, and the orcs have established their first colony. It's like a couple steps away from their old one. Not very adventurous of you, but I guess you know. So you did call themselves. Duh, duh, you think they're gonna be that smart to adventure for? Anyway, the humans have also established another colony. Um, again, not that far away. Uh, the elves will probably establish another colony soon. So will the dwarves probably. Uh, which kingdom is doing the best so far? The orcs have actually. Uh, taken the lead uh they have two colonies so far they're just a little they're one person ahead of the humans oh two new cities have been founded so yep the elves and the orcs have also established new cities the cult the elven cult is expanding and the dwarves have made this little thing this little village here they also have a lot of houses here by this little river area so they can get out into the sea um the people in uh the humans have also kind of taken over this entire peninsula. Um, no one's expanded to these islands yet, but, uh, you know, these islands actually do have a lot of resources. There's some stone trees, pink sheep, Baha, 
That's the sound a sheep makes, by the way, if you didn't know. And then my favorite little guy here, where if he dies, well, there's going to be a death nuke. So, he better not die. I'll be very upset. Anyway, the humans have started this fishing boat. I think the humans will probably be the first to reach this island, because they can probably see it from the nice little beach there. Um, it's like there's a storm going through here. It's going to destroy the human stuff. You know, there's a nice little thunderstorm going on right now. It's, at least it'll water their crops. And they didn't get struck by lightning once. Lucky. Looks like they're... No, I'm God. They're not my favorite. I, I don't have a favorite. Oh, the orcs have established a third colony in this mushroom area. Looks like they've gone... How did they get through this mountain range? Oh, they probably went through here. Yeah, well, if if they go to war with the elves, they'll be, like, completely cut off. Like, that city will be cut off from reinforcements. Whatever, but at least the orcs will be protected from the elves by this mountain range, and vice versa. The orcs are also protected from the humans, and vice versa, by this river here and this mountain range, so... Oh, the humans have established a third city right here. Uh, each... Country is about three cities. So elves are kind of slow to establish cities. What? Which is the most powerful right now? Uh, great. Oh, the humans are actually uh, taking first place by only one person. So I think this is really going to come down between the humans and the orcs. But the elves have established another colony right beside the orc colony. That's probably going to cause some tensions to rise. That's probably going to be the first war. Uh, the elves or the, you know, the short people, the dwarves. Yeah, the dwarves and the humans. Are, uh. Have kind of have to probably have an established contact yet, but the elves and the dwarfs definitely know each other exists. Uh, a tornado is here, and a new dwarf colony right by the coast. They're tired of living in the snow. They want to go for a nice little summer vacation. Yeah. Anyway, the tornado. No, no, are they gonna kill? Okay, I was worried for a minute the tornado was gonna kill this guy because if the tornado killed it, he would have just blown up and destroyed the whole island. That probably wouldn't be the nicest. Uh, but, oh, the lemon people are on this island now. Or the, or the tornado's gone. But, hey, at least, he, at least, uh, at least, at least Lalo survived. You know, they, he almost died, and yeah, that would've, uh, he, yeah, that would've been bad. Anyway, no wars have been declared yet, but I feel like tensions are probably rising between these guys and, oh yeah, minus 181. Yeah, they're definitely gonna go to war soon. Do they have armies? Yeah, they do. Look, these guys got some. Look, this guy's a soldier. He's a pyromaniac. Uh, I guess they're gonna need to invent some flamethrowers then. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, I'm saying um a lot. Anyway, uh, this guy, he's blessed too. So you know, if he dies, it'll be pretty hard for him to die. So anyway, what's going on right now? Looks like the humans. Oh, ha oh, the humans are approaching on the dwarf borders. Oh, oh, sh oh, they're at war. Oh, they're at war with each other. Oh, let's go. First war happening. Things were getting boring, but, you know, now they're not as boring. Looks like the humans and the elves are going, or humans and the dwarves are going to war. So the humans are moving down south, moving through the mountain range, destroying the dwarves. Looks like there's a big battle. Whoever wins this battle is probably going to win the war. The humans are destroying their village. I think the humans really want their resources. Um, they really want their resources in this region. Uh, yeah, looks like the humans are also sending in another, more reinforcements to reinforce their attack. Looks like they were defeated, but they have more reinforcements coming. The reinforcements were just defeated. Anyway, my dogs are barking in the background. Hopefully, they, you can't hear that. Uh, in the north, on this front, anything going on? Anything? Doesn't look like it. But uh, all the humans are going for another counteroffensive, or I guess it's a, not a counteroffensive. It's just a second offensive. Looks like they destroyed their capital building. Uh, they're continuing to destroy the buildings. They've destroyed houses. They've cut off this. Oh, there's a little battle happening right here. No, no, there isn't. Anyway, they've cut off this side of the village from the rest. Oh, I think they're going to destroy it. Well, you know, uh, I, th I have a feeling. I think that's technically genocide. Yeah, I think, I think the humans have committed genocide. Which, you know, doesn't, doesn't look, th yeah, they've committed genocide. They killed every, every man, woman, and child in that entire city. Anakin must be in their army. Um, they killed not just the men, but the women and the children too. How are they not at war yet? They're, nope, they're at peace, but he's doing at war. Looks like the humans are winning right now. They're uh, push, they've pushed back the dwarves outside of their original settlement, but doesn't look like there's very much progress being made. The humans are probably going to take this, and they're probably going to make a peace deal. Nope, 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 look, they're sending another, they're attacking the mole. They're attacking a city called Mole. Yeah, I think this river and mountain range are really helping the dwarves. Oh, it looks like they're attacking, oh, and the attack failed. Humans are going in for another attack. No one's lived here for a while. It's kind of an act of war, isn't it? 
I don't know about you, but I wouldn't really want to live in an active war zone, but, you know, you do you. Okay, there's a battle. Oh, the humans are really rampaging through the dwarven cities. They're in the new capital of Umar. Umahar. I don't know, but whatever. They're, uh... Oh, looks like they're at war, too. They're at war to But you know what? I'm gonna focus on what the humans are doing. So it looks like there's a battle here, by the river. There's not actually a battle. But there's a battle right here. The humans are destroying their other city. The humans are just committing more genocide. Wow, they're kinda... They're kinda mean. Yeah, humans are kinda mean in this world. But anyway, you know, as long as they don't kill this guy, I'm fine with him. Uh... But yeah, it looks like the humans destroyed another dwarven city. I think the dwarves are kind of screwed. Yeah, they only got two cities left compared to five human cities. The humans are going to definitely become super powerful because there are so many resources here. You got... Okay, well, there isn't very many resources left, but there was a lot of resources. But if they kill the dwarves, they'll be able to steal their resources. Anyway, whoa. Okay. Well... The orcs have destroyed the elves. That really sucks for them. Well, sucks to suck. They should have built a better army. Instead, the elves, they're like pacifists. They're like, they're not going to win a war. See, they're content. You think you're going to win a war while being content. No. Well, anyway, it looks like the orcs are launching another attack. Oh, they made peace. Yep, just this, but I thought they would take all this land and then made, they'd make peace. Oh, and then they... Are they st so these two made peace, right? Yeah, but these two are still at war with each other. Yeah, well, it looks like not for long. The orcs are just rampaging. They're also committing genocide. No, I think the orcs and the humans will get along great. They both like genocide, apparently. Anyway, the, the elves are done for. They got one little coastal city left. Yeah, look at these. Look at these orcs just rampaging through. He's a pacifist, but he kill, he's killed uh, three people. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's a pacifist. Uh, anyway, two people, one of... One elf left, and the elves have been completely destroyed, except for this one ship. With no passengers. <laughs> yep, this one ship is going to save the, their entire race. Is it going to do anything, or just going to stay there? I don't think it's going to do anything. Anyway, how many ships have the humans built? The humans built... Oh, there's still a lot of resources here, in this area. Yeah, there's some... St there's a lot of polar bears. Well, look at all these polar bears. There's like six of them. That's like three more polar bears than I thought there was. It's like, I thought there was only three polar bears. There's a lot of pink sheep here, though, you know. A new village was founded. The dwarves are continuing to expand. That's their humans probably aren't going to like that. Um, anyway, so one kingdom has been eliminated so far in part one. And if you want to see part two of this uh, world box video, part two of this world box video, uh, world war uh make sure to like and subscribe anyway thank you for watching and goodbye